Hi, this is Ilka Morse from CDLC. Today I'd like to go over how to edit um, metadata in the project client. And the example we're going to use is a metadata field that does have a control vocabulary list. Um, however, um, the terms that we need to edit are not in the control vocabulary list. So the first question that we have to um, address is why do we have metadata in a metadata field that has a control vocabulary but that metadata isn't in the control vocabulary list. When you go to um, approve items that you are uploading from the project client, um, you go into the content DM admin uh, website and under the items tab, you go to approve items. When we're working in the approve item webpage, there's two sections. The first section is called the full approval queue actions section. And the second section is the detailed approved queue action. If you use the first section, the full approval section, what happens is your items are approved, but any new metadata that you were planning on adding to a control vocabulary will not be approved. That will only happen if you use the detailed approved Q action section because the very first section of that um, area is approving new control vocabulary. So what has happened, let me go back to um, admin. What has happened in this particular collection is that at some point someone approved some items using the full approval Q action section. So what we're going to do we're going to go under the collection tab and we're going to go to field properties. And the metadata field we're looking at is subject personal name. So I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm going to go under administer control vocabulary. Here is the area in the admin site where you can for a particular metadata field, in this case, subject personal name, you can add terms to the control vocabulary and you can delete terms to that control vocabulary. Also at the bottom of the page on browse, you can browse what you have in that control vocabulary. And it's good to look at this periodically to see if you have um, by any chance put in terms that should be the same, but you've actually entered them in several different formats, and this is where you would, you would look. The other link on this page, down at the bottom, is Verify. And Verify lets you know that you have terms in that metadata field that are not in the control vocabulary. So at this point, we have two terms and I'm gonna take one of them and just check and see how many I have. Um, there is another video um, on editing control vocabulary in the admin site and we um, covered um, the same particular um, metadata field in that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the items tab because I wanna know how many terms have this? And I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to selected fields. So my selected field is my subject personal name. I'm going to paste that term in. I'm clicking on the exact phrase. In this particular case, we don't have to worry because it's just one word for the term. Um, but if you had a, uh, um, a term that consists of several um, uh, words, then you would want to use this. And I'm going to click on search. And it turns out that I have 16 items that have transportation in the subject personal name. Now, I could edit um, all of these uh, 
all the metadata in these items from the project um, from excuse me from the admin site um, but it would take a while there's 16 of them I have to go in one at a time um, and I don't really want to do that the best place to do editing the most powerful place to do editing is in the project client um, you, you also can do this find and replace but mistakes can happen there the project client is the safest place to do your editing the project client let me also note is the only place that you can replace images that are sideways, upside down, etc. And the only place that you can replace your thumbnails if you want to uh, create a new thumbnail for an item. So let us go to our project client and I have it open to um, editing that particular collection we were working in and as you can see I have three tabs home find and collection and editing and I'm going to go into the find and collection you may browse all your items if you want to and in a small collection that might sometimes be the fastest way to do this you can browse by control vocabulary which again is a very well good way to go in especially if you're interested in um, doing something to um, everything in one collection because you can go in by either collection id or digital collection metadata field however in this particular case we are working in uh, a metadata field that has control vocabulary but the term that we want to edit is not in that uh, control vocabulary. So I'm going to go up to advanced search and I'm going to search on fields. Uh, the field I'm searching is subject personal name. Again, just because I just do that the exact phrase and I'm going to put transportation in. And notice this for some of you who have very large collections it's a thousand results per page so just be aware of that if you're really going into one of your uh, large um, collections and I'm going to click on search and again those 16 items that we saw up in the admin site are now in my finding collection and I'm going to select them all let's make sure I have them all selected yep and I'm going to add them to my project. So that means I can edit. So I'm waiting for those little locks to occur on each one of my items. And there they are. And then I'm going to my editing tab. So here again are my items. And the field I'm interested in is subject personal names. And I'm gonna search on them. And I'm just going to go down and browse. So this field should have personal names. And as you can see, these 16 don't. So I'm just going to uh, delete the first one, click on the other side, go back, and do a fill down. And there we are. All of them are now empty. OK? You notice I do have these little explanations. Let's see what they are. They may be disappearing as I've done this because one of the reasons they're there is I had terms in a metadata field that was a control vocabulary and they weren't in there. But some of these other ones, it looks like there are other terms. Atlantic City, um, these are in a couple other fields and we'll look at those when we get up. This, um, Editing in the project client also makes um, this area uh, of um, items not in your control vocabulary um, easier to work with. If I'm up in the admin site editing control vocabulary, it um, turns out to be a two-step process, especially if I come across a term in another metadata field that has a control vocabulary and somehow, again, the full detailed approve queue was used um, instead of the detailed. And then you have a little two-step process you have to do before you can edit. But, it, but in if I'm doing my editing in the project client, I don't have that. So I'm gonna select all of these 
and I'm going to upload for approval. As you can see down here, slowly uploading those items I had copied to my project client to edit. So we're going up and there. We have all 16 up there. And I'm going back up to my um, project client and I'm going into, excuse me, I'm going back up to the admin site and to um, the item tab and to approve. So here we have, we have 16 pending items and actually there are eight subject corporate names that were never added to that metadata field at the beginning. So here they all are here. Also location field. Um, and actually we have a little bit of a problem here, which I'm, I'm not gonna address right now. Um, or maybe I should, let me, I suppose I better address this. We have a location field here that's in the wrong format. And I can edit that, but it is a two-step process. I need to take that out because even if I went to edit it, um, I'd have to have this term in the control vocabulary to edit, and I don't. So what I need to do is go back up Go to the collection tab, go to field properties. Now this case, it was the location. There it is right here. Has a control vocabulary. I click on edit, administer control vocabulary. And I need to add a term. So I'm going to, excuse me, let me paste that term in there. And I have this question mark in here. And I'm going to instead put the hyphen. There's the correct format that we want. And I'm gonna add that to that control vocabulary. So when I go back to items and approve, and I'm going down to my detailed approved queue action. This particular one, which I knew was in the wrong, I have to edit that. Now I have to go into edit and edit and I'm going to go down to location and backspace and put that in okay and I'm hoping because sometimes this is a big mess to get into I can approve this it may not let me no it won't let me right now this is a this is an issue with um, control vocabulary. What I'm going to have to do instead, let me go back up. Um, these are some of the problems you can get into and go back to approve. And the problem I'm having is all of these terms have not been approved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add subject to UGM one. Then I'm going to add each one of these because one of those terms must have been in that field. So I'm going to add each one individually because I need to edit this one. The, the only other recourse we would have is to um, approve all these, everything including this one that's incorrect, and then go in and um, edit it. So we're going to do this slot here. Going on down. Again, the reason I'm not using add all is I don't want to add this one that's incorrect. Okay, add. Okay, so now here's the one we needed to do something about. It looks like there are two of them with that. So I'm gonna edit the first one. Now let's hopefully I won't run into the same problem again. And I'm going to go to that question mark, put in the hyphen that I need instead and I'm going to approve. And for whatever reason, this one is not in there either. So I'm gonna copy that and let's just see what I have and why that one wasn't there. So we'll go back to approve. Did I leave one term out that I didn't? And I'm not sure why, but I know that 
I'm going to have to put that in. So back to fields, back to corporate. I think that was corporate. Edit, admin, and add this term. And I won't, don't want it. I think I want it like that. Let's hope so. And add. The only other thing I can think of is not even in that format. Um, okay, back to items, back to approve. Let's try this again. So you can see how difficult it can be to edit at this point and probably I maybe should have looked at this back in the project client when I saw those little explanation points. But let me click on edit again. And if we can't do it this time, I'm gonna do it another way, okay. So back again. Ah, I see them now, okay. This is the problem that I didn't notice. Under corporate name, here's the problem, right here. This is the bug that can happen in, um, in content DM, if you can all see it. Instead of the ampersand, I have ampersand AMP semicolon. And um, that can sometimes happen when you're editing up in the project client. It is a known bug. Um, so this has nothing to do with what I just did. I, I actually didn't look at that. So let me take that out until we're like that because we should not have had that other issue. Okay, and down I go again and approve. And that one was fine. We're gonna go in and edit the second one and there's the question mark. And again, here is the bug that can happen sometimes in Content DM. So let me take that out. Okay, because we know that term is in our control vocabulary for corporate name because I put it there. Um, and it was probably there before. It's the, um, the bug that has created the problem. Okay, and down I go again to approve. Okay, so let's go back to approve. And we now have only 14 pending items because we approved two of them. The two that we edited, edited we approved. So by automatically going in and doing that editing that I did. And so now we have all 14 of the other items that we took out the um, metadata in a uh, subject personal name that shouldn't have been in there. So I'm gonna select all 14 and approve. There are all 14 in there. And I have to do index next. I always use the index scheduler immediate and I click on this. Now, hopefully this won't take very long. The other day when I was doing the other video um, editing in the project client, um, the indexing took quite a while. And um, I didn't give you a chance to see that you can go back after this has indexed. You need to really go back into um, the collections tab. And let me do that right now. Go back in the collection tab, go back into field properties. We need to go back to personal name, edit, because we're looking at the control vocabulary, administer control vocabulary. And what we're interested in doing once um, the item has indexed is to verify that I've gotten all those terms out. Now remember, I only took one transportation. So there is a chance that the other term is still in there. Now, right now, I don't know whether they'll be cleared up. Ah, so it looks like I still have business and industry also in here. So you can see that editing becomes, uh, can become, become quite involved. So let me go back to items. Uh, let me see if indexing is still, it's still indexing. Um, but just out of curiosity why we're waiting, I'm going to go to edit and just see how many terms, how many of these I have. So I'm going to paste that in, same field, 
and just do a quick search to see what I'm looking at. Well, it's telling me I don't have any. So let me go back to index again. And maybe when this finishes in indexing, I will know for sure. It may not have, since it hasn't finished, it may not have taken that term out. Um, So what I want you to remember from uh, this presentation is um, it is easier to edit in the project client. Um, you could see the complications that we encountered when we came back up to the admin site um, because of that uh, term in location that was put in, in the project client incorrectly. This is, this is where checking everything before you upload is a good idea. And again, uh, once you finish indexing, you do need to go back and verify that you've gotten all the terms out of your control vocabulary that you wanted to. Um, at this point, I think we're not gonna wait for the indexing to complete. I've had this issue um, uh, before during the, the week. And so how I'd like to end this is if you have any questions about this um, video and editing in the project client to please contact your CDLC staff. Thanks.